for a small pyramid like that, it is very powerful, very effective because of all that copper wire that acts and adds to the energy that's already coming out of here. see when if, if your vision is obscured and you're pouring mm -hmm. how do you know how much to pour if you can't see building all my chakras now with a big central copper wire wound central crystal I used to build them that way but I hadn't built any chakra ones for s several years actually until you inspired me to start building them again I make sure that a third of the crystal is embedded in the metal matrix on the bottom here, that it picks up the energy from the crystals in here, and it goes into the big crystal and goes into the copper wire, and it creates a toroidal, but it also radiates laterally. But depending on who can feel the energy, it's always moving in a vortex, in a spiral, as well as moving sideways, laterally, as well. Three different types of metals here. I use brass, I used aluminum, and I used steel. And I think the combination is a really nice mixture, actually. What is essential is that you need an inorganic metal of some sort. It's not fussy what kind of metal you use. You need the inorganic metal to repel. The resin attracts it and the metal repels it. So now you have high frequency attraction repulsion, which is very unbalanced and chaotic energy. But when you put a crystal inside, the crystal has the ability to, to transmute this unbalanced chaotic energy. It smooths it, it balances it out, and out comes a positive healing, good kind of energy that plants, pets, animals, humans, everything that's alive wants more of. It's, it's good energy. Yeah. Look at that go. Energy in motion. Visible energy. <laughs> 